than 7,000 military personnel from Thailand, the United States and other countries joined in the annual Cobra Gold 2011 exercises that saw troops storm beaches, thwart biochemical attacks, launch helicopter assaults and even kill a cobra and drink its blood to survive in the wilderness. As ancient Thai believes that cobra blood improves circulation, eliminates allergies and even increases sexual potency. While science doesn't back up this superstition, forces assembled didn't refuse the challenge. The Royal Thai Navy contributed the HTMS Surin and Manok, while the US brought in four ships, the USS Germantown, Essex, Stockdale and Denver. Another exercise that is just as important is rescue and evacuation of non-combatants in war zones. Thai, Japanese and US personnel play acted as patients and medical personnel while forces set up an evacuation control center and organized air support. The ECC focused on medical treatment, weapons and drug searches and transportation. Each unit had to visualize a real situation and resolve the challenges faced. Thai General Pong Sangane, Japanese Ambassador Kiyoshi Komashi and U.S. Regional Security Officer Randall Bennett observed as forces re-enacted the humanitarian evacuation of a disaster area. Officers from all sides agreed exercises like Cobra Gold helped to increase cultural understanding. 
and this was obvious as many military personnel also took part in community relations projects, building and refurbishing schools in rural areas and donating much needed supplies, while also joining in many activities with the children that brought smiles and laughter all around.